Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 11th through the 20th, 2018 reading for you. I ask that you give this video a thumbs up if it resonates with you in any way, or even just to be nice, because that's way um, YouTube is going to know that you guys really appreciate these videos, and they're going to recommend them to more people. Also, remember to subscribe below, because that also really helps to get the word out there and have this vi these videos recommended. So thank you so much for keeping these videos going for free. I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards, and we're going to see what April 11th through the 20th has in store for you. Now, if you guys want to book, oh, that's beautiful, a private reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. Let me see. I'll just move these down a little bit so you guys can see them better. Alright, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, give me a minute to take everything in. Okay. Well, this is really beautiful. Some of you are falling in love. Okay? Some of you are moving out of doubts and fears and really going after what you want. And some of you are finding peace through hard times. Okay? And for some of you, it, it all comes into play. Okay. So let's start. Here, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You are either meeting somebody who is like the Emperor, strong, in control of themselves, um, powerful, passionate, knows what they want, knows where they're going, and knows how to get there. And for some of you who aren't looking for love, this is you. This card is representing you. You are embracing life like the Emperor. You are moving forward almost unapologetically in order to get where it is you want to be and be who it is you want to be. Now I remind everybody with the Emperor card, it can be a very forceful card, so there is a need to keep your sweetness to you, which is what the Six of Cups is saying. The Six of Cups is saying, remember that to almost keep the innocence of a child, to keep the eyes of a child, to keep the fact that kindness matters and that, you know, your words have power because what we say to children really does affect them greatly. Here with the Emperor card is could also be the love that you wished for as a child. As you were imagining your happily ever after, this was the person you were imagining it with, even though you didn't know it at the time. So for some of you, you are embracing the power of an Emperor, or in, for others of you, you are embracing that power into your life with a partner, okay? And also, the Six of Cups is telling you that nothing is impossible. Have that faith in yourself that you did when you were younger. You could be anything you wanted to be. Any combination, ninja, you know, cook. I'm going to go with samurai. You, nothing was impossible. Nothing you would even laugh at saying, oh, this is, this is what I'm going to be. You thought you could be the hero of your own story, and you thought you could achieve anything. And that's what you need to embrace with the Six of Cups, is that innocent belief in yourself, because that's going to make you as powerful as an emperor. Not to be naive and not to think that it's all going to come about without any hard work, but to really embrace the limitless potential that you have. Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Now here's the Two of Cups. This is the Lover's card. Okay. In the Minor Arcana, this is the Healing card. This is just beautiful. So for some, for some of you, this is definitely saying that you are falling in love. Okay. That this force here is coming into your life, the Emperor, and you are going to be absolutely in love with this person. Okay. For others, you're going to start falling in love with your life. Okay if you're not looking for romantic love, falling in love with the people who are nearest and dearest to you and who build you up and move you forward. Now what's interesting here with the Five of Cups is I've been getting this a lot in the readings for the 11th through the 20th and it is a very good message. We always look at everything that we haven't done right. We always look at everything that we could have improved on. We always look at all the mistakes 
instead of all the joys and all the happinesses. And this is what the Two of Cups is saying. The Two of Cups is saying to focus on joy. The Two of Cups is saying to focus on happiness, focus on your new beginnings, and leave these sorrows behind because you're missing out on the blessings. By looking at everything that isn't going your way, looking at everything that you don't have, looking at everything in a negative light, you're not seeing the beautiful home you have right here. You're not seeing that there's a bridge to get there. Okay, you can see that in the cards. That bridge, that beautiful home. All right. So this healing, beautiful love is being overlooked for everything that you feel as if you're not getting. So stop looking at things negatively. I have to tell myself this all the time. Stop looking at the negative and look at the positive, even if it's just the smallest thing as you saw a butterfly or flowers starting to bloom or birds singing, even if it's something that totally pulls you out of your current situation and makes you refocus your mind, do so. Because by refocusing your mind, you're going to see the blessings and the beauty that it's going to light up your heart and ignite your soul and move you forward in a more healing, prosperous, fantastic place and fantastic way. With the Six of Swords, you're taking your knowledge and your understanding and you're moving forward, okay? You're moving into the unknown because no matter how many tarot readings you listen to, no matter how many, um, I don't know, insights you have, the future is always unknown. There are variables that come from all different angles that make up the future. So the best thing that you can do is gather your wisdom, gather the knowledge around you, gather the guidance, okay, that readings provide, that people provide, and take that knowledge with you and move forward. And you're moving forward blessed by the angels right here. They're guiding your way, but you're moving forward into the unknown. And you're taking all your mental prowess with you. And you're taking that leap of faith by moving forward. Now, we have the Knight of Swords. So this is saying that you're moving forward with gusto, okay, quickly, which is kind of... These two kind of contradict each other because here it's a slow, steady movement. And here, it's a speedy, I know what I want, I know where I'm going. And this is also my white knight card, so it's almost as if even somebody could come in and be like, you're moving too slow, you're not going fast enough, come on, hurry up, we can get there faster. I want you to remember that slow and steady wins the race, okay? And not to get caught up in your emotions and your personal desires in order to get to the other side quicker, okay? In order to get to the unknown faster. You have to move forward in the way that is right and is comfortable for you. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And this is going to take thought. So as much as you might be in love with this person, do not rush into anything unless you weigh... Do not rush into anything. Weigh the options, look at everything, and move forward. Because as much as I love the card... I love the Knight of Swords, okay? He's my white, white, white knight card. He, is, he always makes me think of, um, what is it? The prince in Snow White, not in Snow White, in Sleeping Beauty, where he comes in and he slays the dragon and he goes up to the castle, kisses the princess, wakes her up and sweeps her away. And that's all wonderful, but it's such a whirlwind. And what you don't want to have is you don't want to have regrets because you have gathered all your knowledge, but then you threw it out the window, Okay. Have that faith in yourself that if you move slowly, things will still work out well. If you move slowly, you will still have what you desire, okay? This person, the emperor, if he really loves you, okay, and if things are supposed to last, like they show in the Two of Cups, he'll be there, okay, well past these 10 days from the 11th to the 20th, all right? If you're trying to move forward, to create a dream that you have always had and always wished for and longed for and daydream about because the Six of Cups to some readers and sometimes is the daydream card, okay? If you're worried that it won't happen, if you just sit there and always daydream about it, know that sometimes daydreaming is thinking, okay, and planning, but making all those notes and all of those adjustments in your mind instead of having tons of paper or piles of graphs that people use. Sometimes it's just planning it out in your head, and then moving forward in a loving, healing manner in order to get what you want. Even though you sit there and you see the disappointments and the way things have fallen apart, 
you still have the two cups here, the two cups here, which are healing and moving you forward in a way that is beautiful. Because you're planning, because you're not rushing into anything, you are taking your knowledge and your wisdom and you're moving forward in a way that is prosperous and right to you. And when you are settled, and when you do have everything all worked out and yourself firmly planted on even ground, then it can look like you are the white knight rushing in and saving the day and getting exactly what you want. Because it'll look like this happened all of a sudden, but it didn't. Because your clarifying cards are the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Eight of Wands is saying that things are going to happen quickly and with majesty, okay? Because the stacks down here are a symbol of royalty. And here with the Queen of Pentacles, it's saying that you will still have that wealth and that prosperity that you are looking for as you are building your life and moving forward. It doesn't have, have to happen rashly. It doesn't have to happen like coming in kind of like a wrecking ball. It has to happen slowly and steadily and with planning and a bit of finesse because that's what's going to make things last and that's what's going to bring you the true prosperity and joy that you're looking for. Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. All right. Well, I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button. And I thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to book a private reading, all that information will be in the description box. And I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.